What's up guys, hope you're having an awesome day. Back out in the shop once again, gonna be working on Project Blackout today. Going to work towards getting the center of the bed cut out, that way I can start making some body mounts for this and get it mounted. I'm super excited to see how that is going to fit. We got Blaze up here for the weekend, he's gonna be helping out, which will be super nice. So what I'm gonna do for now is get the bed put over here on the floor and then I'll show you guys kind of where I'm thinking about cutting. Um, probably just gonna go on the outlines of the original floor, but it all has to come completely out. So that's where we're gonna start. All right, so I think we have a good game plan here. We are going to cut an inch in from the back here and then follow this seam all the way along here up and over the wheel well, doing that the same on both sides. And then along the front here, we'll just cut it flush up at the front. And then from there, we'll put this back on the chassis and kind of see how it fits. The front is going to have to get cut out a little bit more up there. But we'll wait until it's over it so I can see how much I need to cut. <laughs> All right, so we got it most of the way cut out. It is cut all along the areas we wanted to, except for it's, uh, it's a little wonky, but that's fine. We'll deal with that later. So we got these little corners back here that are kind of going to be a booger to get. And then we have some stuff underneath to cut there. And then it should come right out, at least we hope. It is cut perfectly straight. Isn't that right, Blaze? As straight as Justin. <laughs> yeah we uh we might have got western with the sawzall but that is fine i think we'll fix it are you feeling strong strong are you <laughs> yeah i'm not kind of even so let's go river up oh god Jesus. Easy, what? look at that sweet Dude, this thing's gonna be a spaghetti noodle <laughs> when it's done. Jesus. I wonder if I could get it to fall into the groove from the inside, but I probably couldn't. It'll be fogging or whatever there, bud. It's so close. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hold on, guys. Problem solver 9000. Look at that, it's more open. <laughs> I'm not tall enough. Whoa, 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 whoa. probably wanted them mud flaps. <laughs> They're mid Comanche mud flaps. They would have sold for eighteen thousand dollars on mid Comanche's parts for sale dot com. Comanche owners me dot com. Oh yeah Oh boy Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, at least I cut up a perfectly good Comanche bed. That's exciting. Um. <clears throat> yeah, there's no going back now. The center is cut out of the bed, and it is super sturdy. It doesn't even move at all. Uh, so that should be nice for mounting it and getting it all square. But it's cut out now, so we can put this back over the Comanche and kind of see how it looks. Down here is where I was talking about. We'll have to cut a little bit further into the bed because it's going to interfere with one of the cross members. And then a bunch of cleaning this stuff up and kind of go from there and see what I want to do. Yeah, what do you think, Blaze? Yeah, it is uh, officially cut out, so that's sweet. All right, guys, the bed is officially on there, kind of rough in its rough spot. It looks like everything's lining up pretty good. 
for what I need. Just got this braced up with some boards on the front and the back. That's roughly where it is going to sit for now. Pretty happy with it. The frame is definitely quite a ways up into this thing. So the bed will be pretty shallow from what it is originally, but that's fine. I, this is a purpose-built vehicle, so it doesn't really matter. It'll, <laughs> it'll end up being just enough for a spare tire, and then the spare tire will probably sit flush with the top, which will be kind of funny, but... I'm digging it so far. This thing's going to look sweet. Next up, I'm going to work on cutting the fenders out, both the bed and the front ones. That way I can get it on all four wheels and tires and set it at close to ride height and see kind of how it looks. We'll also put the doors on. I'm just really excited to see this thing with the bed mounted and, you know, more of the shape it's going to be in. So I think that's the next step. And then as far as the bed flooring, that's going to be a pretty big project itself. So I'll end up probably doing a video or two on that making the floor and all the sheet metal work so for now it's just going to stay like that and we'll go from there so that's going to wrap up this video make sure you stay tuned for the other videos on this i think the next one will be cutting the fender wells and all that stuff um drop a comment down below what you think of it so far love hearing your guys feedback i'm really excited with this project and i'm having quite a bit of fun working on it which is sweet so thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one peace